Let's get ready, ready, let's get ready, ready, let's get ready for Wembley. Alright, I'm Dom. I'm uh, the presenter, stroke, co creator of Bantam's Banter. My name's Tom. I am co creator and co presenter of the Bantam's Banter podcast. He's a third creator, two thirds. Third. <laughs> no, no, it's definitely 50 50. <laughs> Let's just get that on the go right now. It's definitely 50 50. I'm joking. Dom and Tom are two Bradford City fans who have found another life online. This pair of likely lads record and broadcast a radio show and home videos in their spare time. It's in their e-life that the lads really come alive. We used, to, we used to do a radio show called the Tom and Dom Show, which was like a breakfast radio show, but it was rubbish and no one listened to it, so we thought let's, let's try and come up with an idea where, yeah. where there's already an audience that we could grab straight away, so we both supported Bradford City and thought it'd be a good idea to record a radio show here. It was, part, it was part of the show that we did and we, we wanted to make it longer and more elaborate and Dom used to work for the club a few years ago and uh, he managed to get us into the press box to access to record the show because we record the show live, well, as, well live as the game unfolds you see. Uh, anyway, I mean, we've still got plenty to come on the show, uh, me and Dom and I have decided to let loose and un unwind today so here's a track uh, I like to listen to when I'm at home alone with the missus. But if that, without the internet, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be here. It's you know, it, it's, it's integral in what we do. It provides us with a platform to, to put out our podcast, to broadcast, and saves us tons of money. All it does cost a little bit of money. But with, with the help of the internet, we're able to put it on there for people to download whenever they want. They can listen to it whenever they want. Uh, there's Twitter, Facebook, all the social networks that help us, that help us to, to advertise it and to talk to our audience. Uh, and that's quite important to be able to talk to an audience. Is, is is vital for yeah. something like us because they need to feel like they're your friend. It's and, key. And it's interaction is really it's really big. I mean, we've got we want to be approachable, mm. and whereas all these radio bigwigs and this press box. I know, and it. we've got a website as well. We have, haven't we, Dom? We have, and the website helps us sell ourselves, so we don't have to go face to face to everyone and say, "Have you heard of our podcast? Do you know what it is?" So they can just go on our website and have a look. I mean, I mean, you, you don't know like the polls like live radio. You don't necessarily know how many numbers that they get. I mean, obviously they pay for radio our figures and stuff, mm. but as it, we know exactly our downloads, so we know what our core audience is, and to our pro and to give our product to that. Core audience. Yeah, the, the internet allows us to even pinpot exactly where yeah. the podcast was downloaded. Ghana. Which, yeah, we've got the listeners in Ghana, all over the world, which is something that a live radio station can't do. Bring on the call! Let's get ready for Wembley! Let's get ready for Wembley! Get ready! Get ready for Wembley! Knees trembling! Yeah, yeah. Wembley. Wembley was a good one because we released this music video, like a silly music video, Knees Are Getting Trembling. And we were walking around Wembley, like loads of kids like singing the song, weren't they? Like coming, yeah, up to us and, ah. coming up to us asking for pictures and autographs. It was really weird. I mean, on the train down, yeah. to, on the train down to London, there was a queue of kids asking for our autograph. It's so so about Oliver. Yeah. It was weird, and, we, and like I don't, we've never signed up before. I was signing it like I signed my checkbook, you know, T. A. Fletcher. And we, we we got the groups, didn't we? Eventually, Tom and Dom. Felt like a celeb. Yeah, In fact, we probably qualify for Celebrity Big Brother now, don't we? Yeah, well, we don't have a social no, we don't. life. You can't. It's a uh, personal life. Our relationship is Bantam's Banter. Mm. Without Bantam's Banter, we won't be mate. No. Are we mate? No. I fell out a few times recently. <laughs> but um, they, uh, my wife is mad, I have children, and I rarely get to see them because I've got a normal job. Because this, get, although it's a success and we've got a big audience, doesn't really bring us in enough money to earn a living from. We're here at the National Media Museum because I work here. If this is an actual job. As well as doing the podcast, I have to pay bills and put bread on my table. So uh, I work here um, a few days a week. So we've, we've got the whole not seeing our family because we're sat in a shed editing it, or uh, we're here doing it, or we're travelling around trying to make a name for ourselves. Visit the website bantamsbanter.com and if you want to email us to complain or anything, unless you're from a big company who can afford to sue us, then you can email info at bantamsbanter.com. It's all right, Lark, innit? We're only having a laugh. Don't judge us. But 20 years ago, you would have been, you, you could be arrested for doing what we do. And now, the world is allowed to podcast. Yeah. It's not pirate radio. It's, no. it's, you can just do what you want, say what you want. And if somebody doesn't like it, it's just tough luck. You're your own boss. You're, you're constantly on the, on, the, on the edge, really, of, of being good or being rubbish. 
and especially like with Twitter, if you see anything, anything controversial on Twitter, which ties in with our podcast, say anything, they will, they will look at the tweet and they'll listen to the podcast and they'll think, right, these guys are saying these things wrong, let's sue them. <laughs> like, police, yeah, because we, police once, are getting involved now. we once said something about something that had happened in the news in football, yeah. and the next day it was in the national press. And we're just two guys from Bradford mm. who don't earn any money, and we were, we were in the paper saying, oh, these boys have uh, mouthed off. Yeah. Naughty. So you have got to, yeah, exactly. So you have got to be careful. Welcome to the Bantam's Banter Vidicast here at the Bradford City Stadium. We're going to do a tour of the stadium um, with permission from Bradford City. There's only one problem, though. Bradford City officials have announced that Dom uh, has to be gagged uh, due to his expletives and uh, the words he uses sometimes in the podcast. What are your thoughts on this, Dom? OK, the best, the best thing about, about running a business online or a, a radio show online is, is the, the, the interaction you get with your mm. audience and the audience you can reach. It's limitless, literally limitless. It's the only, probably the only format online is online to, to find a limitless audience because you can reach every corner of the globe. Um, From a for, click of a button. So you can make yourself by people liking what you're doing and you can ruin yourself by saying the wrong thing once and then everyone switches off. The plans for the future are to just to carry on doing it because we love doing this type of thing. We love having an audience. We love entertaining. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and we'll carry on doing it. Song. We've got a lot of work from doing this podcast. So hopefully that will continue, you know, and we'll get more work from it. And like Dom says, we'll be able to let, release our creative yes, juices. We've, we've worked for the professional organisations like the BBC and Sky Sports and stuff, but we we want to make our own thing. We've been successful because we've made our own programmes, our own content and our ideas yeah. and our relationship on screen or on, on audio. So that's what we, we hope to succeed as a duo, like having death, but better.